Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 bot AI cast. We have got ourselves what should be a good one here today. We're on the map Hard Lead with two bots that I don't cast very often. However, it's another bot author recommended replay. So we're gonna see how it goes. We've got two Zerg bots. Not that the race is as important in these bot games, but uh, yeah, we've got Visenya in the top left taking on a bot that's name is a bit of a mouthful. It's Princess Mika. I may just say Mika. <laughs> Although I, I don't know of a commoner like me can can call Princess Mika just Mika so casually. Now, we have got two Zerg bots, but so far no early pools or anything like that. Hatchery's going up on both sides of the map, so that's good to see. Nice, respectable macro openings from these bot authors. And then, yeah, just a spawning pool on the way. Hatchery on the way, so a normal Zerg opening, which means there's plenty of time, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are the best at it. I truly mean that. Make sure to go ahead and click that like button. Just leave a comment down below saying more bots if you want to see more bots. Join the Discord, which is linked down below. And consider becoming a YouTube member if you do want to support the channel. I got a bit of time uh, off work before I leave to do some training, so I'm trying to get as many videos as I can prepared uh, ahead of time for that. Uh, let's see, we have got spawning pools finished up, so we see the first few Zerglings popping on out for Visenya, and then Princess Mika. No units just yet. We'll see if it's going to be roaches or what. The speed mining really does throw off... Are these bots speed mining? Yes, I believe Mika is, that's for sure. Visenya is speed mining too. Pretty much the standard for bots these days. But uh, yeah, it really does throw off the timings a little bit it seems because like Princess Mika was up to 500 minerals for a second there. Uh, once these zergs have their queens out though, they'll be able to start spending that money with all that larva they'll have. Third hatchery is just about done for Visenya, whereas Princess Mika is two basing it. And two basing it very hard, potentially, as we do see a baneling nest and a roach warren on the way for the red zerg. So Visenya could be on the receiving end of some aggression. A drone is scouting for Princess Mika. The queen will kill it. And yeah, we're gonna see if uh, if Visenya is ready to receive a potential attack here. There is still drones being made. However, we'll see if it's gonna be just roaches as soon as this roach horn's done or not. And Visenya is macroing pretty darn hard. There's a bit of a link skirmish going on on the other side of the map. Queens, the referees shall shut this fight down though. Oh my gosh, both those lings actually died. Uh, yeah, so now we do have a Roach Horn on the way for Visenya, so a little bit later. But it does seem to be getting away with this, as there isn't any units on the way for, for Princess Mika yet. And that means that Visenya is just getting away with an extra base. And I don't know the math exactly on these bot games. However, however, uh... Like, because of speed mining, mineral patches are even more efficient, I believe. So, like, the difference between two and three bases is even bigger than it would be in a regular StarCraft II game, if that makes any sense. Not by, like, a ginormous margin, but it is, uh, it is a factor, I believe. A lair is on the way now for Princess Mika. Burrow's on the way next for both bots. Very similar timing on that, so we're going to be seeing potentially burrowed roaches against burrowed roaches. We do actually have a couple banelings on the way for Princess Mika. That's a little interesting. We almost never see banelings, as they're just not very useful when it comes to bot splitting. However, who knows against, against lings or drones or roaches. 
Maybe there can be some good connections. Princess Mika playing it safe finally gets its third base up. So it is quite behind on the economy. A couple of Banelings are actually just going the long way around, it looks like. I'm not sure where they're off to, but uh, I'm wondering if they're just going to try and run towards a mineral line. We do have Princess Mika scouting all over the place as uh, Lings and Overlords are providing both these bots vision. I will say Visenya has been the bot that has scouted much less than its opponent. It's kind of just doing its thing. It's not really reacting to anything so far. Those two Banelings do get shut down. Wait, did they actually get a significant number of kills? There's a couple of bodies there, but only 12 dead Lings and some died earlier, so it wasn't too many. You guys don't come to this channel for the perfect, perfect observing, right? Now, we have got a Hydra Den on the way for Princess Mika, so get enough lots of tech. If we look at the production tab, I mean, it's got tunneling claws, centrifugal hooks, carapace, a Hydra Den, an infestation pit, two more hatcheries on the way. And yeah, Princess Mika is, it's kind of like my government spending when it doesn't have the money. So, we're now seeing... Uh, yeah, both those hatcheries come up, whereas it's just starting to mine at the third. So I am a little bit concerned. If we look at the worker difference, the supply difference, just the openings are really playing into this. If Princess Mika is given enough time, it should be fine. As, as long as it's given like a couple minutes here to start really spending, to start earning money and spending some money. Visenya, though, just has a crazy mineral bank, actually. I'm not sure what it's waiting to spend its money on. It's making a few of its own Hydras now. Both bots are getting 1-1. One, one, fourth, fifth base up for Visenya. Fourth just on the way for Princess Mika. So, like, this game is just respectful macro. Princess Mika does take a worker lead. Still very far behind in the army supply, though. It's actually just macroing up with literally no army, unless you count three queens. It doesn't even have a queen for every single hatchery, is it? walked one or two forward so princess mika i think it's time to start making an army it's making an infester a infester uh unless that thing has like the old cracked uh the old cracked infested terran i'm not sure how good that's gonna be I am really curious, like, how's Mika getting by with not making any units at this point? Visenya's making Hydras, not as many as it could, as it is bottlenecked by gas pretty heavily, but then it is starting to mine lots more gas. Lots, lots more gas coming on in for the Blue Zerg. So those mineral resources should even out, but like... Yeah, Mika is just making infestors. What is this? Okay, now it fires up some Lings, some Hydras, a single Swarm Host. Make that two Swarm Host. Uh, that is just bizarre how all of a sudden Princess Mika wakes up and is like, right, I need to make units other than infestors. Queen's still killing off overlords that belong to Visenya that are kind of just flying over the hot zone. I believe it looks like that Visenya may be programmed to try and keep an overlord on one of those positions. Yeah, look at this. It's Oh, that's so funny for Visenya. It seems that it's trying to get overlords to the cliffs, even if the one that was there died previously so it may just be suiciding overlords non-stop we are seeing visenya start to move out a little bit uh well maybe not it's more or less just hugging its base swarmost are out for princess mika we don't see a lot of bots that utilize these so it's going to be a interesting test to see how well they do we're seeing lots of static defense go up which is nice but then again there hasn't been a lot of harassment or anything like that two twos on the way for both these bots Visenya is just about maxed out though, and for, that's the trigger point for a lot of bots to attack, so we are seeing that. In comes the Blue Zerg. Can Princess Mika hold? There's fungal potential. Only one goes down so far, and it kind of whiffs. The Blue Zerg is now going towards the bottom left to attack that base. We're seeing lots more Lings on the way for Mika. I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's what Mika needs, as Lings are not the best against Roaches and Hydras. Looks like a bit of an A move or a right click move by Visenya as it's actually taken a lot of damage. The drones from Mika are pulled on mass and they're actually doing pretty well for themselves. So big movement mistake by Visenya. Oh, the pain as it just gets sandbagged and slaughtered by Princess Mika. That was a bad move by Visenya. We're seeing a few banelings roll into individual roaches for 
Visenya, this is being a bit of a messy game as there's now a couple locusts fighting some roaches, but the roaches can just burrow. Looks like Princess Mika is not wasting any time going for a bit of a counterattack. Ling's coming on in. Notably non-upgraded Ling's, so they're just really there to buffer at best. A few roaches are here too. Where's the rest of the Red Zerg's army? The answer is strawn out in the middle of the map with the Blue Zerg's army. And Overlord still trying to make it to that pillar once again. All of a sudden, though, Visenya just lost so much stuff. I think we're going to have to rewind and look at that. Uh, before we uh, cut the video here, we are seeing the attack for Princess Mika. Come on in. Visenya is, is making lots of roaches and hydras to try and defend against us, and it does seem to be holding off for now. Another Overlord perishes. Looks like there is some swarm host attacking this hatchery, and they are actually going to kill off... A couple drones, it looks like, kill off the queen. I'm not even sure where those swarmhost are. Ah, there's one there. I do not know where the other one ended up. <laughs> this game is just wild. These bots have some crazy movement. So far, Visenya definitely been on the worst end of things, though, as its movement was really poor there with the move command. And that that's my question to bot authors. Like, That seems like one of the most preventable things if you just have, like... I don't like I don't know if you could make better pathing just by having like a reduced command delay and just like a moving or something. I I know I'm not doing a good job describing what's in my mind, but like we see a lot of bots lose firing time because they are constantly issuing commands to their units instead of just like issuing a command, waiting a second, issuing a command. Yeah, it, may, it would make them maybe a little bit less fluid, but it would also prevent things like that in which the army units are just not attacking. And it does look like Princess Mika's attack has been successful here, adding in lurkers to its army. Visenya just made one really bad move, for some reason not A-moving its army, and uh, then all, the, all that Zerg just died, so surprise ending there. I, did, I honestly thought Mika was in a lot of trouble here. But uh, it worked out in the end, it seems, as these bases are going up real quickly. Well, going down real quickly. There's more tech on the way for Princess Mika. Yet another dead overlord. How many kills does this queen have? 13 kills. I bet some of these drones even have kills from being pulled against those units. And, uh, yeah... Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this one, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to, uh, I mean, yeah, there's like an Ultralisk on the way for Visenya, that's cool, but it is dead. So I'm actually going to rewind, because I want to take more of a look at what happened there in that fight. Okay, so this is too soon, we are before the fight. Doo 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 doo. Fast forwarding. Okay, so like, the army's here. They kill off the hatchery. And then they go and they kill this hatchery. <laughs> the tag, what is this locust, is funny. But then they just like, right click. Or whatever. I do not know where they're trying to go, but like, none of these units are attacking. And we see this in multiple bots. Like, it seems like something that could be fairly avoidable. Like, even if they're queued up on a bad path to, like, at least, like, attack move or pause for a second fire move, pause for a second fire move. Uh, yeah, because that should never happen. But anyway, well done to both these bot authors. It is not easy to program these. Like, a lot of love and time goes into them. And it's easier to critique than it is to make them, that's for sure. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for tuning in.